Okay, so if I if I can show you all for a second, um, you'll look and see that there's two sides to it. And in case you're wondering which side is for the maxillary arch and which is for the mandibular arch, you can clearly see the numbers in here. The, what's the difference between this and a George gauge is a George gauge will have negative numbers and positive numbers. These are all positive numbers. So when we show it to the, so when we see this, we actually take this part off. And now we know that this one is the upper arch. And uh, I, again, I think the first thing that we should do is, um, let's see if it fits, because we want to cut it off according to some great advice that April gave us on the forum, is we want to make sure that it uh, doesn't go past the second molar or the se second to the last tooth, whatever that happens to be. So Mike, if you can do me a favor, just put your head back for a second. And go ahead and open. See, he tends to go all the way back there. So I'm just going to cut the tray in there and make it a little bit shorter. So we know that the upper's a little bit long. And then we'll come in here with the lower one. And again, he's a little bit long there too. So um, a couple of things we can do, uh, and it depends upon whatever, however you want to do it. I'm going to fill the whole tray because it's, it's simple for me. In the industry, we're used to that. And then once it's in there, I'm going to cut back the impression to the, where I want it to be. That way I know it's exactly there. So we'll do the upper arch first and then the lower arch. Basically what you do is you take a bite registration material. Um, Somnomad uses blue mousse. I think you can use whatever you want to use. Whatever it works out best for you. And again, here's the one with the numbers that we can see in here, so we know we're on the upper arch. And we're just going to just fill it up. And drop it in place. And an important thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this piece is coming pretty much straight up from the nose and straight out because what's going to happen is if you have this crooked and this is pointing in one direction or the other when when the lab uh, goes to move the the jaw they're actually going to be torquing it to the right or left so it's up to you to make sure that this piece it, it bisects it perfectly you know, you're in total control in this and that's one of the reasons why they want the dentist doing this and not the labs um, because let's make sure it's done. This part is done correctly. You can turn that off if you wanted to. Didn't know that part, did you? What? That coming straight out. Oh, no. That's no. how I learned. <laughs> uh, April fifth, Casanova. No, <laughs> I did it for one of the patient, and his wouldn't fit. And then in the class, Kent goes, "If you have that thing pointing at an angle, it's going to come back crooked." Okay, you ready? Is it on? Are we back on? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's only been there for a couple of seconds, and out it comes. There's our upper appliance, and we can see that we got cut back to the second molar. We can cut it back a little bit. That's real, real simple to do. So we'll just simply change tips. And then here's where April was pretty insistent on the uh, forum about working quickly. is see, what I did now is I actually took the upper one hooked it together to the lower one don't be so worried about the bite part just where I'm just bite wherever they're comfortable but we're gonna go ahead and fill the lower tray and quickly we have to put the upper arch in And then have Mike go ahead and bite down how you normally bite down, as hard as you can. And there he bites down to his, where his normal bite is going to be. And then we're going to let it set. Once it's set, we're going to cut, cut everything back, try it back in, get the three readings that the lab needs, 
send mic and the appliance to the lab along with the readings, and then they're good for the sleep study. What do you think, Gabe? I'm excited. I'm very excited to see what happens with this. I know it will be successful. You know, there's been, there's a, because this has only been out for what, a, a month? Well, um, apparently it's here. Somnomed has created this. It just came out with this in April of 2012, and they started this just over on the East Coast. And so, correct, just this month, the month of August, they have installed this into the West Coast sleep centers. Um, I think that my sleep center is one of the first in Southern California. I think that we were among maybe two or three in the same week. And uh, we are just the sixth in the world to have this installed. So we're pretty okay. excited. And the, the, the neat thing is, uh, I heard, I don't know if you, I didn't tell you, but one of the first results that came back, they had to titrate the patient, I think it was either one tenth of a millimeter or one millimeter, and they hit max. Hmm. And that was it. So they said the adjustment was so quick. And this patient is now done with all the titrations. So for dentists, it means less titration visits to the office, which is good. 